Hello everybody, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. I'm making this uh, video because I want to talk a little bit about polysense. The polysense, as you can see, are a group of 10 Sanum remedies that work as antigen testers. When the indicated polysan remedy is given, it produces an antigen antibody reaction within the body, thus stimulating the immune system defenses to clear out all infections and toxic information from the immune system. Use of the polysan remedies is a simple test procedure that many practitioners are now using as part of the introductory Sanum lecture. So, uh, these polysan remedies are a strong enough homeopathic potency that they work when rubbed on the skin. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the different polysan remedies starting with polysan A. Polysan A is indicated according to European practitioners as supportive therapy to help reduce the symptomatic effects of aging, associated complaints, metabolic disturbances, hypertension, cardiac afflictions, nervous disorders, periodontal disease, prostate health concerns. The next one in line is Polysan D. Polysan D is a very interesting remedy that is used to detect foci testing of Latin infections. The next one, Polysan DX. Again, according to European practitioners, this specific polysan is not typically used, but may be helpful to also test or find the specific location of Latin infections. Polysan DX is used in conjunction with Polysan D. The next one is Polysan E. This one is used for insomnia, memory failure, joint disorders, headaches, irritability, physical and mental exhaustion, etc. This specific polysan is also called luetic, which is related to syphilis. Next we come to Polysan G, which is used for flu, angina, all kinds of inflammations, blood poisoning, feverish diseases, viral diseases, acute infections accompanied by fever, swollen lymph nodes, head and neck infections etc. Polysan K 
is used for hay fever, allergies, respiratory disturbances, everything related to the heart and blood, varicose veins, pre-cancer stages, emphysema, asthma, hypertension, and rheumatism, as well as arthritis. Polysen M. This one is a very useful polysen that is typically used to detect malaria. Then we come to polysen OM used for neoplasms both benign and malignant cancer related pain precancerous states intestinal problems food allergies vein diseases etc polysen r Polysen R is used for rheumatism and arthritis, gout, neuralgia, rheumatism of tuberculosis origin, and the elimination of uric acid. Finally, we come to Polysen T. This one is used for tuberculosis, tuberculosis of the lymphatic system, lymph adenitis, and its Latin forms as eczema, asthma, rheumatism, migraine, etc. Also, sometimes this polysen T is used in combination with polysan A and perhaps even polysan E. And this combination has been shown very helpful as supportive therapy with prostate problems, obstruction of urinary flow, incontinence.